This box set contains nearly 40 songs that nobody has ever heard before. There are a couple of songs that have different versions of uh, lyrics and music, uh, key changes and production that you may have heard. Um, and these are things that were in our vaults. This is very golden earring or, or ACDC or something. It's called Taking It Back. It's really fun. What year? It's not a great chorus. That's why it's obviously didn't make the record. God, do you remember? I don't I don't know what album, I don't know where it came from. Somewhere. But enjoy. <laughs> That's right. Enjoy us. That's right. Go back. To uh, enjoy us enjoying ourselves. <laughs> this box set encompasses um, many sketches of a lot of different songs that, uh, that we wrote. And uh, I think I'm very, very proud of it. It's been very, very pleasurable for us to go through our archives and uh, come up with all this stuff and I hope you all enjoy it because uh, we certainly did. Here's a real like love song. <laughs> it's called Why Aren't You Dead? I think this was for Crush. Yes. Why aren't What's you it called? Dead? It's a Hallmark moment. We demoed this for the Keep the Faith record. After we wrote it and demoed it, and now that I hear it 14 years later, you will realize that it wasn't where we were going. It was more about where we had been. We're fans of musicians and music, and uh, whenever we got box sets and stuff, to hear other music from other bands, it's something that, that lets you into the living room or the, the soul of musicians. This is a little different. These are songs that were predominantly never released, and uh, it is our soul. We hope you enjoy it. I had a good time listening to you. Honestly, it's been uh, pretty amazing for us to listen back to songs that we haven't heard in years, and and, um, and to let you into the world of different songs and the reasons why they make the records and the reasons why they don't. But uh, this is a celebration of 100, mil 100 million records in 20 years and with, uh, with, with my brothers, so thank you. Okay, now. We didn't save my life tonight. I wrote it on the piano, and uh, it was at a very difficult time. As are several songs that are going to come out here for the first time in this box, where I was looking inward and um, and and questioning what it was that was going to motivate me. To, to make another record. I was really burned out. With song like the radio saved my life tonight, I, I realized the, um, the purity of writing a song, being moved when you heard a song on the radio again, the magic that music had. Um, I was able to, to get that one down on paper. As simple as you know, saying I, I crawled into bed with no one to share the thought with, but, Wow, last night you know the radio set in my life. It kept me wanting to be here to talk to you. Radio save my life tonight. This has been a uh, a great walk down uh, memory lane for us, and I want to thank you for all the years of support. God, no one would have ever thought of hundred million records, but you know, looking back on all these songs, you say, "Wow, man, there's some stuff that really was great stuff that didn't make the records." And there's a lot of great energy, and, and this is a great fan-based record and I hope that uh, everybody enjoys it. Thank you all. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next 100 million. When I was a kid, I remember still standing in my mother's kitchen thinking about if we had any success at all, what it would be like to be 30 making records. And then uh, all these amazing things have happened. Uh, in our wildest, wildest dreams, I never thought that we would sell 100 million albums and still be here to talk about it. Here's a couple of the new songs from the new album that we're working on that'll follow this box. So um, the first 20 years have been amazing. The next 20 are only going to be better. Thanks a lot for uh, coming with us down memory lane, if you will. But enjoy the box. See you out there on the road. Man.